Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Let's lift you up in the air. No, it's actually running the course. It's still running through that course, unfortunately. So it does, I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Um, I'm assuming that I originally put the course in wrong, which is why we've got that whole thing happening in the first place. I'll unload this. I could have left that combine going and just unloaded a bit more. I know. I could have done. I didn't. I've let the team down there. Right. I'm going to park you up and I'm going to go round to the combine. And we're going to get that one fired up. Like that. You're down there. I can spin you back round like this and... You are ready to roll. Okay, off you go. That one will just carry on doing what it's been doing. I'm not going to have any issues with that one. It's going to be a good boy. Then I need to go over this way. We've got you uh, doing this. You're going through that cycle. Honestly, that doesn't really matter at the moment. Although I can stop it from doing that. I mean, it's only a minute and a half. So while it's playing with that, I can go through to this next one over here. I can take you. We will go in here and we will clear that course. And then I'm going to go drive over to field three. Oh, no, no, no. I said that I was going to go and do this small field over next to the hay dryer next. But I can also use this as like an experiment. We can see if it would be better to have the... Like there I, I said that we would have like the soft turns on the corners. So I'm not going to have that this time. No soft turns on the corners. I'll bring you over onto there so that you're on the edge of the field. Now this field here doesn't actually have a number on it. Does it? So I need to go calculate current... I'm not in a field to do that. I need to go in a bit further. There. Calculate current field's edge path. There. It doesn't have a field number on here. So I can't give it a field number. So I need to go to course generation. Uh, field 1, user 2, 3. A currently loaded course. That's the one that I want here. Headland passes. I'm going to bring that down to 2. Because it's quite... No, I'm going to keep that on 3. Because I want to see how we do these things. Uh, headland corners turn... Round, turn, radius. Okay, I have no idea what that means. I'm assuming that... Headland corners smooth, headland corners round, turn, radius. Turn, turn, radius. Maybe that's the one that I want. So it will turn up to a certain point, but it won't leave bits behind. I'm, gonna go, I'm just going to go with turn. I'll go with that one right there. Skip rows 1, bypass islands is deactivated. Starting direction. Okay, generate a field course. What? I did everything I was supposed to do. Currently loaded course. Oh. Wait a minute. No, I've, I've done that. I think. Oh, no, I can't save. Add field 4's edge path, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wait a minute. Right. That's reached the end of its trigger. Let me have a look here. How many fields has this map got? This field, this map has got 5 fields in total. So if I put this as field 6, maybe, I'm de maybe I need to designate this as field 6. There. Add... Field 6's edge path to... Field edge path number 6. I don't know what that symbol there means. Right. So I've called this field 6. Course generation. Field 6. Everything else is the same. Generate field course. Aha! Aha! Right, so you just you basically you're designating a field and then you give it a course generation. So I go there now. I've got something to save as well. So I but I'm oh yes, I do want to save that a minute. So I will go field six. Uh, this is just going to be called the temp because I'm going to get rid of this field soon. The whole field's going to be gotten rid of, and so then I want to 
Next closest waypoint. First waypoint. Drive course. Off you go. And now we find out what happens with the whole turn on the corners. This here, is it going to class? That's not being classed as a corner by the look of it. No, nope, it's going to keep on going around that bit. What's it going to do up at the end here? Like, is it going to treat it like there is a hedge in the way? Because it's a, it's a fair, it's like a, a, a gentle curve on that bit. That works all right. So, no, that's, that bit there has gone through just fine. And it's going to do the same here, I would assume. Yes. So, it would be the second time around that it's going to start. Or it might actually, once it gets up around this bit, there may be something for it to do there. Helper F has got a full grain tank. We'll go and deal with that in a minute as well. I need to have a drink a second. All right, that's a bit better. And then we come up to here. So I said that I wanted it to turn. How well is it going to do the turn? It's got to that bit. And it goes on a little bit and gets to there. It, so it tried to drive off the edge of the field. I'm assuming that it does have some form of collision detection. How well the collision detection works, but I'm assuming that it does have some form of collision detection on it. And then it's coming over to here. Right, so it is backing up. Does look like it's taking into account that we potentially could have a collision detection on there. What are you doing now? Okay, that's a long way out from the edge of the field, that is. And that's being a little bit strange. But it's still doing. It's, it's still going where it's supposed to go. So we've at least got some progress on this, but I'm wondering if that's kind of the right option for it. It might be that it doesn't like the really sharp turns that it does. But that seemed to work all right there, and it's a fairly relaxed curve on that piece of the field as well, so it should, in theory, be all right on that one. It's those sharp corners like we did over on that field over there. I'm wondering if it needs to be different, whether it shouldn't have the sharp turns on it. If it needs to be if that does need to be changed over somewhat we'll have to find out now this bit here is it going to turn or is it going to no oh, it is it's just going to turn around on that one this is going to this is going to stop and lift out in order to be able to turn around and then we need to sort of find out for the... while it's doing that bit is it going to like make a pig's ear of it like i did with the last one or is it going to make a, a, a slightly better turn this time? Don't know. Okay, that's just looking weird. Let's leave that one to it for a minute. You right here. I need to back you out round so that we can unload this tank here. And I want to go to you. Drive you up over and get this one unloaded. And then... I should be. I'll go back to the mower and we'll check on that one. I can also go and put the other tractor, the skid, the sour skittles tractor. We could go and just check on that one and make sure that it gets going again, because um, it's got an automatic course on there that we can go and put it going to. So there's no reason that we can't do that. Actually, I know what I do want to do. You're you're fine. Let's switch back to this one and. Okay, that one's got a little bit to unload. Let's watch the mower a second. You're going to go whizzing up through. This is the third time round now. It's done a fair bit, but over there, look. See, it, it does it kind of weird on the corner. I, it, it puts a piece out on the corner, and I, I don't quite know what it's doing there. This bit here, I'm going to assume that it is going to take that off. No, it's not. Right, well, that is just weird doing it like that so maybe I have got the wrong setting on it because I don't want it to do things like that I want it to do like a neat and tidy job all the way round but it doesn't seem to want to do a neat and tidy job all the way round right well let's not worry about neat and tidy job let's turn you the, the beacon off on that one I'll swing that one round like that Back you up a bit, and away you go again. Right. 
There is our harvest still underway and still going strong. We're doing quite nicely with this harvest. We do seem to be doing very well with it. We haven't had any more problems with the field, with it being, um, like, really weird on the... Uh, too steep for the header or anything like that. It seems as only down near the road over there, so I'm confident that we can do something about that later on. I'm not going to do anything about it just now. We'll let the harvest continue exactly as it is. And now you're coming up through, and yes, you're doing everything that you should be doing. I needed to turn the other way for this. Right. You've gotten to this point. So you've gone round the field, you've left a bit of grass behind, but we know that that's something that's going to happen. So if I just click drive now, it will now go and it will do this second track that we went and recorded. And it will go all the way up through here. But what I don't know how to do is to get it to automatically do the first track and the second track together. That's one thing that I haven't figured out. So I'm expecting those comments in the comment section this week about how to join those two together. And then we will try and add them in. And yes, I still have on my to-do list to get rid of all those horses and get new horses instead. Um, so that I've got more names into the game for you all. So that you all get a, um, a named horse in the game eventually. That is the whole point of this. I'm... If, if I remember, I will do that soon. That, I definitely didn't record it to do that. That was definitely not me. Right, that one, I'm going to jump out and he's just going to carry on doing what he's doing. Now, they're saying an input of wood chips. There shouldn't be an input of wood chips on this because I've got the one that we've got on the... Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't. I think this one is not the one that I used. How did I... Yeah. I See, I've not actually used it before. So I don't know. See, we, we've got power there, but it's saying that it needs wood chips. There's no... Previous hand tool. Open product menu. Disabled... Auto start. Auto start on. It's because I don't have the wood chips in here. And I need the wood chips. And that only takes 100,000 litres. So that was nearly full. We can have 2.5 million litres of hay coming out. But I have apparently got the wrong one. Which is a bit of a jolly nuisance. However, this dry grass down here... This doesn't disappear at midnight, so we might be all right with this. Okay, you've reached your end point, so let's try and deal with this one first. I will go here and stop driver, uh, clear that course as well, and I'm going to back up a little bit. And I'm just going to finish this bit off here. And stop that, and then I'm going to go over this way, and we're going to go to the big field now, to field three. Helper E has a nearly full grain tank. And it's too late to go and chase Helper E. So I will bring you into here like this. I'm just going to stop right there. And then I'm going to go like that. So now I want to go to course generation. Because I've only done one course on here at the moment. I want to go... Do I want to go to course generation? I think I do, yes, because we've already looked at this one. So I'll go course generation in there. I want to go back to field three, which is this one. So it's big, long, round field three. And there, and then this one, headland corners turn. Headland corners round turn radius. This is the only headland corners that we haven't tried doing anything with yet. So we'll see what that does. Start direction automatic. Uh, skip rows. 9.6 meters. Generate field course. There we go. We now have a field course all the way through the whole thing. So I go back and then I save that one and I go field three hay. I like to capitalize. There we go. So field three hay. Keep that one on to... Uh, no, not field three hay. That is field three mowing. It's no good. Field three hay there. Pent course. 
Delete course folder. Delete course folder. Save this course. Field 3 mowing. That's what I wanted. There. Right. Save that one as field 3 mowing. So we've got lots of courses here. There's loads of stuff going on. And all I need to do now is drive course. That's going to start right out on this end. It's skipped a bit under that tree for some strange reason. Don't quite know why. So we will watch this one just go around. Now, it's, apparently it's 28 minutes to finish this field. We'll watch this one go all the way out round. We'll see how he does. I've got grain tank up there. Actually, I don't need to watch it go all the way around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that one going for a second. Yeah, you stay there. And then this one. I need to do this same thing again. Back you out round like that. And then I can go and get this one. And load that one up. And then we'll go back and we'll check on Ducky's tractor and we'll see how that's doing. And I've also got the other tractor as well that I need to bring out. Um, and I need to start that one working on the next grass field. But I think I've got the wrong hay dryer, so I'm going to have to correct that soon. I don't want to go that way. You're, do you're doing a grand job. You keep going there. You're doing a grand job as well. You are almost empty, and then it's not you. It's all the way over here to this one. This one right here, I want to stop driver. And I want to clear the course completely. Okay. So then I want to come over to here. And what I'm thinking here is that I'll just manually take it over, because I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to do with that. So I'll bring you over to there, and then I'll right-click. And I don't want to... Uh, do anything like that. I want to go with field one mowing. I want to load that course right there. It's on here. And I simply want to go drive course. Starting at the first waypoint. So that's going to go through. And it should follow where the mower has been. So that one should follow where the mower has been and it shouldn't have any problems. At least that's what I'm hoping. Now go on around there. Yes, it's going to leave a bit of a mess in places. We know it's going to do that. But there isn't a great deal we can do about that, I don't think. It should pick up most of this field with one trailer load because of how big the trailer is. So that at least is, is a reasonably good thing, I suppose. And then this tractor here is now coming back down to the start position. It's... Oh, I see. It's, it's trying to curve out the field a little bit, I think, in places. So now what's it going to do? Said turn radius. So this is the bit that I'm curious about, is what it's going to do on the second round. But you, you can still go there. That one's on 95%. You are all done, so you can carry on. And then all I need to do with is go and tip out some more grain. I'm keeping everything running. I am actually keeping everything running, which... I'm quite pleased with. It's got to be said, I am reasonably proud of my progress so far. Now, this is on 95%, so I'm going to bring this one out, and we'll go and tip this one now. Although, I think I'm going to need to get some more storage, and possibly the whole hay thing. We're going to struggle with that as well, unless I uh, bale the hay. I might need to do that. I might need to bale the hay after all. I mean, we have got room for 2.5 million litres... Which I like. I think that's great. But, oops. Okay, I didn't want to do that. I want to hitch that one. That's what I want to do. Right. I'll bring you over there. And you can stop there like that. You're doing fine at the moment. And then... Gone the wrong way. You're doing fine as well. It's going to be interesting to see what the hired help is going to do when we get up against that island there it should go round the island 
but it is good. That's something that we're going to have to keep a half an eye on now. So we're going to have to sort of watch that a little bit more closely. Let's get you and drive up and get that trailer a second. And then once I've done that, we'll take that back. To the, we'll just stick to this road now, won't we? It's going to be the easiest way to do this. Stick to this road right here. I uh, don't need to worry about the rest of it. So I swing you in round there like that. Straighten up a little bit. There we go. And hook, yeah, hook you on there and close you over. And then we'll run you back to the farm. And then, uh, what was the... Oh, yeah, I, I, I want to just keep half an eye... Well, I need to keep half an eye on everything. I need to keep an eye on absolutely everything that we're doing on all of our vehicles at the moment. And it's not the easiest thing to do, is it? That one's already done once completely round the outside of the field. It's on 60%. The one that I want to keep the closest eye on at the moment is that Lexian Combine. I need to get this tipped out as quickly as I can so that I can then go back and keep an eye on that Lexian. The mower I want to keep a partial eye on so I can sort of see what it's doing with its tipping malarkey, uh, with its cornering malarkey. So you over here, it's the next pass. When we go back through again, that's when we're going to have to keep a close eye on what this one is doing. So, you're okay at the moment. 10k. I thought it was supposed to go faster than 10. Have, have we already worn out the machine so it's all the way down to slower than it should be? The speed that decides it is always the headers, isn't it? So, let's have a look. That one there. Oh, no. 10k is right. It just seems slow, that's all. Because of the speed that the other one's going, I suspect. Now, you, right here. We're coming up to some slightly sharper corners. Right there. What are you going to do? With this turning radius thing that it's now got it set on, what's it going to decide to do this time? Is it going to actually just spin round? Okay, well, that's not actually all that sharp there, is it? So what's it doing? Well, that's like the stop. So why are you slowing down this much? Is it... Oh, I see. No, it's it's just calculating where it needs to slow down a little bit to get around these corners, and then it's going to speed up again. Helper J is nearly full grain tank. Yeah, well, I need to go... You're full. So I've got nowhere to go and put my grain now, which means that I want to go back into here, and I want to buy another silo extension. So the large silo extension adds 100,000 litres, I've got a placeable there that takes a 480,000 silo extension placeable. That's a quarter of a million right there, which is quite a bit bigger. That's a multi-fruits one. That's a standard one. Uh, that's a standard one there, and that's a multi fruit So I'm going to take this standard one here. And I need to be able to find somewhere to put it. Which might end up having to be in the cattle pen. No, no, I can actually put it up at this end. I, I can put it right in here and not be out of the way, although that is a slight problem. So I'll come back to here and then I'll go landscaping, start landscaping here. And I really, really don't want that. So what I'm going to have to do is instead of... No, actually blending it level will work. I'm happy to have that blended level. Just like that. Although I think it would probably be better if I... Like, blend it smooth, rather than leveling it off completely. I'm happy to have this blended smooth this time. Although I'm thinking that... Um, it's probably not the best way to have done it. Push that up through there. Means I've got things I need to be keeping an eye on. I want to make that smaller because I did say before that I wanted to straighten this bit up. Like it's quite rough in there. So that was something that I've been wanting to do for a little while now. So we can straighten that there. That needs a little bit of leveling anyway. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Right. And now we can go through again. Excellent. That's all working as intended. And we're looking here, we've got 440,000. That should be enough to keep us going. So I will spin back round. Uh, we'll go this way now. We'll go up, back up to the field. 
The combine is kind of our priority on it at the moment, but you being ridiculous is also a bit of a priority, so I need to here and stop driver. Current waypoint right there. So how do you get it to not drive into the trees? I mean, this one's 99% full now. So what's it going to do when it actually gets full? If I go to there, like that, and I bring it over to this side, and then I go like that, and next closest, nearest, first, current. I don't know if I'm supposed to use current or what. Drive course. Now what are you doing? Uh, oh no, he's he's gone. He's he's doing what he's supposed to be doing, I think. Actually, no, I don't think he is. What are you doing? Tool needs to be unloaded. Okay, that's stopped. What's it doing now? I'm going to stop the driver. And I'm going to... I don't have enough room to go and tip out 90,000 litres of grass at the moment. So I'm just going to stop that one there a minute. Because over there, we've only got space for like 40,000 litres of grass. So I don't have enough room to tip all of this out. And that one looks like it still needs wood chips. So I've got the wrong silo on there. I need to change that mod over. So I'm just going to stop you there for a minute. And I'm not going to do anything to you. And I will deal with that once I have... Um, I come back for my next recording session. I will have dealt with that. I'll have changed that mod over so that I've got the correct one on there that has been changed. Jimmy J has done a little bit of alteration on it so it no longer requires wood chips. The idea behind that being that um, using wood chips is going to result in a fire. And we don't want to have a fire. If you use wood chips to dry your hay, you're burning wood chips to dry your hay you could potentially result in a fire. This is, this is their logic, which is why they got rid of the whole wood chips requirements. Now, I'm not going to complain about that in any way, uh, because I think um, not having to put the wood chips in is excellent. Although, it, yes, it does feel a little bit cheaty, because um, we're now just making hay by picking up the grass, and we're not doing anything else. So we're not having to do any of the other stages... Which I'm thinking maybe we should go and do. So I, I think for at least for the big field three, we might do the other stages. And maybe we could also get a second hay thing as well. So we got some of it will dry the grass. And then some of it won't. Some of it will just take it as it is. But if we go with the base game one, this is the, uh, this is the other thing that um, I'm sort of thinking about with this. Um... The base game one only has a capacity of 250,000 litres. The new one that we've got that we're using, which is through the global company, this one doesn't say on here, but it does. It takes 100,000 litres at a time when it's drying it out. But overall, it's got storage capacity of 2.5 million. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.